Hello, in this video I'll explain how to tackle a solved problem uh, as shown on the screen. So we have an x-ray tube with a 30,000 volts applied between the cathode and the anode. The current flowing in the circuit is 0.4 milliamperes and we have to find out three things. How many electrons are hitting the anode every second? What's the total kinetic energy of all these electrons? And what is the cutoff wavelength of the x-rays emitted? Let's start with the electrons. The current that flowed, that 0.4 milliamperes, is a result of a number of electrons into charge per electron. And the number of electrons is per second. That's how you get amperes as a unit for current. Amperes is coulombs per second. So we plug in that as 0.4 milliamperes is equal to N into charge per electron. That's a constant, that's 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. So when you put that into this equation, you'll get N as 0.4 by 10 to the power 3 divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19, and that works out as 0.25 into 10 to the power 16. These are the number of electrons hitting the anode every second. Now we can calculate the total kinetic energy that's hitting the anode. The kinetic energy of any given electron is E into V, where E again is the static charge of one electron, and V in this particular case is 30 into 10 to the power 3. And the unit of kinetic energy is joules per second. So the total kinetic energy of all electrons would be the total number of electrons into kinetic energy per electron. So you just multiply that and that is N into E into V. So that would be 0.25 into 10 to the power 16 into the charge per electron into the voltage 30 into 10 to the power 3 and you'll get 12 joules per second. Coming to the cutoff wavelength, that's the same as the maximum frequency. This happens when some of the electrons hitting the anode get fully converted in terms of energy into x-rays. In other words, the energy of the x-rays coming out from the anode can't be more than the incoming energy coming into the anode. So the output, when it is 100% equal to the input, at that time you get the x-rays with the minimum wavelength. So in that equation, lambda minimum is equal to hc by ev. In the denominator ev, we have to put in the maximum energy possible for the x-ray, which is nothing but the 100% of the kinetic energy coming into the anode. So plug in the values. So H is Planck's constant, that's 4.14 in 10 to the power minus 15 EV seconds. Speed of flight is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. And the denominator is 30 into 10 to the power 3 EV. So E and E cancels the numerator and denominator. And doing the math, you will get 4.14 nanometers. I hope this was useful to you. Thanks and have a great day.